and you, Rob and Scott, you guys are on the front line when it comes to this because it is as soon as you put it on the air, whether it's live or on tape, somebody is going to comment. How do you how do you buffer yourself? How do you buffer your network? How do you buffer your bosses from overreacting? You go. Yeah. Well, it, it can be difficult because you know. Nobody likes to be criticized, and unfortunately on social media, a lot of the stuff it goes unchecked, and in a lot of cases is incorrect, or that somebody doesn't have all the facts, and when you're, you know, somebody at home, they can just have their opinion, and people don't know who they are and think it might be true. Um, look, there's always things you can learn uh, hearing from other people. Um, and, and a lot of, there's a lot of benefits that we see because there are mistakes we make or things that are happening that we might be missing and people are bringing them to our attention. But when we get this type of information, you know, the important thing is to not be knee-jerk. I think we all know with experience there are two, three, four, five, six sides to every story. So if we want to hold ourselves to a strong editorial standard and be a beacon for this in the industry, we can't be knee-jerk. We need to make sure that uh, things are done properly, things are vetted properly. Um, and so that's, we take some of that and then we, we assess and then move forward where it, it makes sense. So, so j j before Scott jumps yeah. in, so have you guys built a, what I would describe as a protocol then? Have you built a, a system that says, okay, here's, this is getting out of hand or, or is it just done on an individual basis? Yeah, it's, I wouldn't say it's a, an official protocol, but obviously things that, that come up, there's a group that are always discussing them and how are we going to handle this situation? And, and, you know, this is something that we really have to look at ASAP because this is a, this has an immediate need, but there's nothing, I would say, nothing written down that's an official so you, you, your, your world, Scott, has changed from you know, viewer calls, viewer mail, maybe somebody knocking at the front door of the, uh, of the station, to this. Yeah, uh, we make, uh, at Uninterrupted, we make a lot of content just for social media. Um, and it's a lucrative business. But I think the most important thing is to remember that Twitter is not the real world. Um, and I used to say, like 15 years ago when it first came out, if, it's, I said, if it exists by the time we're uh, finished, yeah. right? I used to say Twitter is the end of the world, that was, <laughs> and and it may now be. But you you gotta take it with a gigantic grain of salt. If you see trends, if you see certain things uh, as opinions that are coming back that you should be aware of because of the the scope of them, then you take it at least somewhat seriously. But uh, I look at, at Twitter, Instagram, uh, I just was uh, signing up for Mastodon as I was coming down here, as distribution networks. Distribution networks that give you some feedback, but the feedback has got to be taken with a grain of salt.